Today in this video, I'm going to introduce a website that allows you to create high quality and sleek looking screenshots for your mobile app that are ready to be published on the App Store or the Play Store. And the platform that I'm talking about is called App Launchpad and they even have a generous free plan for you to get started. So every time you search for a particular app on the App Store or Play Store and if you click on one of them, it opens up the listing page and you'll be able to find a lot of these sleek looking screenshots, right? And it instantly grabs the attention of the user. And also you can convey everything your app does in a meaningful manner. And it can potentially increase the downloads of your app overall. So today in this video, I'll show you how you can build such kind of screenshots in just a single click and also customize it however you want to without any designing or coding skills. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is App Launchpad and this is the platform that I've been talking about. And if you do want to create sleek and modern looking screenshots for your mobile app that are ready to be posted on the App Store or Play Store, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to the applaunchpad.com. And this right here is the platform. And as you can see, it says App Screenshot Generator, create beautiful customized app screenshots for your App Store and Play Store page. And as you can see, they even have added iPhone 17 devices. That's pretty new, right? And if you scroll down, you'll be able to find a bunch of information about the platform. But first thing first, head over to the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account. And if I click on this pricing option right here, as you can see, they have a free forever plan. And again, the pro plan starts at just $15 per month. And if you use the coupon that is app launch 30, you'll be able to get instant 30% discount as well. So make sure to use that. So as you can see here, I'm now logged into my app launchpad dashboard. And this is going to be the kind of screen that you will see. And towards the top, you have the option to select the device for which you want to generate the screenshots. So here we have a couple of options like 6.9 inch iPhone, 13 inch iPad, then Android phone. Then we have like, okay, screenshot sizes. You can manually select the device for both Google Play and App Store and you can just continue that way or you can even specify custom size and get going. So in this case, I'll keep it as iPhone. And again, you also have the option to create App Store screenshots and also mockups as well. And now if I scroll down, as you can see, here we have hundreds of templates that I can instantly start editing in just a single click. So all I have to do is to find the template that I like the most, click on it, and then I can rewrite the text and also add my logo and screenshots. And in just a single click, I can download the high quality images and directly publish it to the App Store or Play Store. So okay, even I'm confused as to which one to choose because here we have a lot of options. All right, so let me see. Hmm, This one looks good. Okay, this looks good too. Hmm, this is nice, right? Okay, to be honest, I'm totally confused as to which one to choose because we have a wide variety of different options. And again, food, then we have learning apps, entertainment, e-commerce. I mean, you can find almost all apps in almost all niches here. Okay, so I'm confused. So let me browse and find the one that I'll be using just, just to show you the demo. And now just as to show you a demo, I think I'll select this one right here because as you can see here, we have the same screenshot that is app interface being shared in two screenshots and this actually looks good. So I'll click on the same, but in your case, you can select whichever one that you like the most. And now as soon as you click on any particular design, it instantly opens up this editor where you can completely customize the screenshots however you want to. And right now we have one, two, three, four, five screens. And again, you also have the option to add additional screens as well. And now just to show you a demo, I quickly went ahead and created a couple of this UI for a music streaming app using Stitch. And basically I'll be uploading these images and then I'll replace those images in this uh, screenshots right here. So when you select a template for the first time, it opens up this app launchpad editor and you can completely customize the screenshot section right here, however you want to. For example, here we have the option to select and change the color of all the screenshots. So here we have three options that is solid. And if you want to add gradient, you can add gradient. Or if you want to, let's say, upload a custom image, you can add a custom image or you can even search for it right from here and add it as well. So for example, let's say I want to change the color of the first screenshot to, let's say, red. Well, I can simply click on the same and it does it, right? So it instantly changes the background or maybe this one right here. Or maybe let's say I want to add a gradient so I can click on this gradient option. There you go. Here we have a lot of options, right? Hmm. And you know what? I actually like this one right here. So this one looks good. So what I'll do is I'll select this as the background for all the screenshots, just like this. It's pretty simple, right? You select the screenshot, you select the background color, 
and you're pretty much done and now you ha also have the option to select the anchor but this looks good and next step obviously we will need to replace all these screenshots right and for that all i have to do is to just click on all of these screenshots just like this and you will find a upload project assets button right here and now all you gotta do is to click on this upload button and select the images that you want to upload so in this case here i have like four screenshots so i'll click on the open button and i'll upload all four of these screenshots in here so let's wait for it so there you go all four of these screenshots are in here and next step for the first page let's say i want to add this one right here so i can select that particular screenshot and if i click on this button right here that is the screenshot it will instantly replace that in here so the first one is now replaced and next step i'll replace it in here as well there you go as you can see it is now replaced and if you want to change it to a different one for example let's say this one i can do that so there you go how easy right so for this i'll keep it as the first screenshot uh just like that and next step i'll select this one and maybe place this right here and then let's say this one and finally let's say this right here okay so in just a couple of clicks i added my real app screenshots into this mockups right here and again if you want to you can actually change all these text right so if you click on any of these text you'll be given the option to let's say add your custom text and you can replace it however you want to number one let's say music streaming app right oops next up i'll change the font size to let's say 200 maybe yeah that looks good and i can even move it a little bit so that looks good and now you have the option to let's say change all these icons stars ratings i mean you can completely change all these you know uh text in here however you want to but for the time being i'll keep all this text as it is and next up if i click on this text option i'll be able to add a new custom text so there you go i can now add a text like this maybe text add text and then i can enter a text in here i can change the font like this i can change the color let's keep it white okay so i can do all of that from here for the time being i'll delete it just delete next step yet another interesting feature of the app launchpad is the ability to translate the textual content within each of these screenshots in just a single click so from the sidebar as you can see here we have an option that says translate and as you can see all the text within these screenshots are in english and next up let's just say i want to localize it and i want to convert and translate the text in just a single click well all i have to do is to select the language from this drop down menu and as you can see here we have a bunch of languages that we can select for example let's say i want to translate this into spanish well i can select the spanish option and click on translate and within seconds all these texts will be translated to spanish or whatever language that you choose so there you go it's all translated and you can arrange the text neatly after that for example let's say i want to translate it into let's say russian let's see i'll click on translate there you go so in a similar fashion you can pretty much convert and translate the text into all these languages in just a single click and that's also one more highlighted features of using the app launchpad for creating app store screenshots and now if i click on this element section right here i'll be able to find various elements that i could add to my screenshot for example let's say i want to replace these two mockups right here and i want to use something totally custom well i can select that and click on the delete button to delete it completely and after that i can head over to the elements page select the device tab and next step let's just say i want to add the new iphone 17 pro max orange well i can select the same add it in here and maybe i can make it a bit bigger like this and okay a bit small maybe all right all right and now i'll rotate it like this and maybe something like this all right and now i'll add the same element to the second one and i need to first match the size so let me quickly do that so i'll match the size and rotate it a little bit so there you go here i have added both of these and now i can instantly replace the content like this and again your creativity and your imagination is the limit and you can edit it however you want to i just shown you how we can add custom device mockups and then make changes for, but for the time being i'll keep it back to the original one okay just like this 
and in a similar fashion if you want to let's say add any device frames like the mockup you can select it from here and they have like almost all the device that you can think of like even the latest iphone 17 series and if i click on images i'll be able to find all these badges hand icons icons and etc that i can add for example let's say i click on the hand option now i can select and add just like this and i can place it randomly on the screen so you have options for that and if you want to you can even upload custom images and add that in there as well okay so here we have elements which is like icons and shapes and if i go to the template section i'll be able to find all the templates that we currently have in the platform and if i click on one of them i can replace the project content with one from the template and the interesting thing is that once you're done creating the template if you click on this download button towards the top you'll be given the option to download it as a jpeg or png so in this case i'll click on png and it will instantly download it as a zip file so you will get like all these screenshots downloaded as a zip file so let's wait for it so there you have it i'll click on the same and there you go here we have all of these screenshots downloaded in high quality like 1 mb 2 mb and now i can directly open my play store or app store listing page and upload it and get going so this is how simple it is and now if you do want to create screenshots for your app store or play store listing all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to the app launchpad.com sign up for a new account and you can start creating the screenshots and also make sure to use the coupon code that is app launch 30 to get extra 30 percent off your pricing plan as well now that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one